Welcome back, welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Marcos and today we have uh, some new true wireless stereo earbuds with smart touch control. These are from a brand called Habit. We've had some unboxings from this brand in this channel. So don't forget to subscribe and like this video as it helps people find it. Uh, so the model is a TW925. These kind of have like uh, from the box, it kind of looks like the AirPod Pros. Uh, so we're gonna take a look at them. Have it, have fun. Um, entry level price, usually about 50 to $30. Uh, so this one tells us all the, all the uh, pretty much what kind of Bluetooth version, how long it lasts. So it takes about an hour and a half to charge. Uh, charging case, it has a 300 milliamp battery. Play time about three and a half hours. Talk time about three hours. Charging, uh, charging with the case about two hours. So very nice entry, entry level buds under $50. Let's take a look. Let's see what's inside the box. All right, so this is what we get in the box. We get a little uh, instruction manual, uh, warranty info. So I believe these have one year warranty from Habit. So Habit warranty, keep this in your documents or you know, if you need that QR code or do a warranty claim. Um, we do get a type C USB charger cable, some extra tips, and then we get the the charging case and the earbuds in here. So let me bring them out. So here's the charging case, have it in the front. Where's the charger? Oh, type C port here in the back. It looks like we might have a notification light right here. So very, I like the size. These are very compact. Um, I, I want to compare them to my Honda's key fob. So about the same size. So they're very, it's very lightweight and about the same size. My key fob is a little bigger. So, I mean, if you want something small, there we go. All right, so let's pull these bad boys out. So, unique design. They don't look like AirPod Pros. So they don't have that little tip at the bottom, but the buds themselves, this is what they look like. Like I said, you get extra tips. Um, it does have this plastic on here, so you have to remove this to charge them and turn them on for the first time. So you remove the plastic, you do have a left and right indicator, and then to power them on, you would put them in here. And think they're backwards. All right, so to power them on, you would go in here. And now they've, they've seen this com this uh, connection right here. So now they realize that, hey, there's power and they've turned on. So right now we're just gonna give them a minute so that they pair. So usually what I do when I pull these out, I put them back in there like this. And then I hold them like one, two, three, one, two, three. What that does, it just tells the bud that we're trying to pair them and then hopefully they can pair themselves. Let's see if we can pair them. So we do have some lights. So it looks like only one's blinking now. So most likely these together are paired. So now we can look for them on our device that we want to pair them with. So let's try that. Okay, so since they're paired now, I only see them once. So we're going to click on that. The TW925. And... It looks like we're connected. Now let's see if we can test them out. All right guys, so this is what the buds look like. I actually had them backwards. So make sure you read the label. One says right, one says left. So I had them backwards and, and the, the only way I noticed that I had them backwards was because the touch wasn't working. Uh, I think the little hole on there has to be on the right ear. Otherwise the little touch, uh, uh, what is it? Touch control won't work. So this is what they look like. You would pull them out. They have you have different ear, ear tips depending on your ear but these are very comfortable um i would say you can work out with these because uh they don't fall off like it all depends on your ear so uh yeah they come in nicely like this so sorry for the mess with the beard i haven't shaved and you know they're very comfortable kind of cancels out noise because uh the these tips kind of 
work as a good insulation for the noise so i can't really hear that much on the outside and i think if i would hear some it might be kind of echo but uh yeah they, they have good cancellation of sound that's what they look like very comfortable now let's try some music one thing that i i didn't like was kind of the position of the touch id or the touch sensor the touch sensor is towards the bottom which is this little little kind of hole so you would need to like press here for it to kind of react to your touch if you don't like hold it correctly like it kind of doesn't react so uh kind of didn't like that from the design but if you want it for music and maybe answering eventually you will get used to it i guess i wish they put it more in the middle but it's right down here at the bottom so so i'm playing some music as you can see the sound is loud So sounds pretty loud like i said if you're looking for loudness i would say this is about an eight and if you're looking for bass this is about a seven so good quality sound like i said these retail for about 30 to 50 dollars so very nice i mean nice entry level buds uh great design you can probably use a pro case for these to protect them um i wish they had something to hang them with to put them with your keys or something like that but very nice unique design doesn't look all like a I think only the case looks like an Air, iPhone AirPods. Other than that, this looks more like a unique design. So, here's the user manual. I'm gonna uh, go slow so that you guys can, if in case you lose your user manual, you have this and you can screenshot it. Uh, so pretty much tells you how to pair them, basic functions. So you can pause it and screenshot this if you need it. And then let me go on the back side. Here's the back side. It tells you how to end the call, how to pair them. And then if you need this, there we go. Maybe pause the video and do the do the QR code thing. So well there you have it guys. That was a quick unboxing and quick view at the uh, Have It TW925 True Wireless Stereo Earbuds. Like I said, quality sound, perfect size, uh budget friendly. 50 and under so great buds for the price uh quality feel and yeah overall i was very impressed by this model and i i like i like the feel and i like the touch and uh it, quality it looked like, it felt like quality so uh quick unboxing don't forget to subscribe to the channel like this video as it helps other people look for it i know for habit there's a lot of uh uh, videos in different languages i'm trying to kind of get more of these products because i like the quality and i'm trying to do videos in english so any suggestions let me know have a good one thanks for watching